It's August and in Scotland's capital city that means only one thing, it's time for Edinburgh Festival Fringe. For three and a half weeks, artists from 58 countries are putting on more than 52,000 performances, from comedy to cabaret and music to magic. This week is the final week. Our reporter Megan Owen is in Edinburgh soaking up the atmosphere and she's been speaking to some special guests. Yes, it's the final week of the Edinburgh Fringe. Now, it's the world's largest arts festival, and you can see uh, it's already starting to kick off, although I'm told that this is the quietest time. We can see some street performers in the background, and here is a taste of some of the acts that we will be uh, talking to in the next few days. Well, the first of them is One Hour of Insane Magic. Um, Elliot, just talk to us about your act. What is it, and how's the Fringe going for you? Uh, so we are one of the same magic. We are a trio magic act, and uh, to be honest, the fringe has gone uh, very well this year for us. We've sold out every day so far, and we're going into the last week. We've got only a handful of tickets left, so yeah, it's going to be a lot okay. of fun. Okay, and um, just tell us about how you've managed to design this act in three different time zones. I'm, I'm told. Yeah, absolutely. So the three of us uh, have been friends for a while. We put this act together about uh, two years ago, actually. But most recently this year, myself and Luke were working out in Australia. Luke then flew over to Las Vegas, so we actually had to write. This this show um, from three separate time zones and almost as far apart as you can possibly get in the world so yeah and you guys are local you're Scottish but you're the only Englishman in the group I am English sadly unfortunately but actually most of the people that live in Edinburgh are English not Scottish <laughs> okay it's like a little London are we disputing that or? Uh, I'd probably yeah. dispute that to be <laughs> yeah, fair yeah. so um, we don't have time for one hour of insane magic but we have time for about three minutes of insane magic so you've got a trick to show me is that right Absolutely, great yeah. and I, ha I don't know what's gonna happen here so let's start off over here. We thought that we would do something that demonstrates all three of our skills very well. So my name is Luke Ozy, and I thought that I would combine magic with stunts. My name is Elliot Bibby. I am a sleight of hand artist. And my name is Cameron Gibson, and I'm the mind reader here at Insane Magic. So I thought we'd start off with a little bit of mind reading. Now don't worry, you look terrified. I'm not going to yeah, read I'm really scared. your actual like secrets. <laughs> We're going to use this book instead. We have a book. It's got a whole bunch of pages. Can you just confirm that all the pages are different? It is just just a book. Yeah, what up, you? I can confirm that. Perfect. You're going to pick a page from this book and also a word from that page. So as I go down the book, just call stop anywhere you like. Okay. Stop. They're almost bang in the middle. Yeah. I'm going to pop the card in. Could you uh, peek for me at the first word of that page? We want Luke and the page number. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. The first word. I'll give you the book to hold on to. Now, I'd like to think of the word. Imagine it nice and big between us. I'm going to try and guess the word yeah. that you're thinking of. There's about 24,000 words in that book you could have thought of. Yeah. And think of the first letter of that word. Uh, that's a... Uh, you're thinking of a T, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Think of a letter towards the end, but not the last letter. Uh, that's that's an N you just thought of. Yes. Right? Uh, I think, therefore, the word... It's likely... Uh, is it talking? Yes, it no, is. Genuinely, it's talking. <laughs> oh. It is, yeah. Now, as the sleight of hand artist, we're going to do something. I'm just going to go... I'm going to tear the page out. What was the page number, actually? 102. It's the one I've got here. 102. I'm going to fold it up into a little square, and I'm going to throw it towards oh the envelope. It looks to be spinning. See, this is an envelope, and inside this envelope is one thing and one thing only. And to me, this looks like a page of a book, but it's not just any page. You said 102, yeah? yeah? Uh, oh, one, God. Is that page 102? <laughs> yeah, it and is. And the first word it's is talking. talking. And as you should, maybe you should look at the camera, because in here you'll notice it's not just any page 102. If I turn really slowly to page 102 in this book, I'll find it between 101 and 100. Oh, my gosh. You'll notice that it's actually the exact same page 102 from this exact book. Well done. I feel like it, it's just me, but I feel like you would be getting a big round of applause here. <laughs> that was insane. I, I mean, insane magic, yeah, as, yeah, as yeah, your yeah, name, yeah. right name. Thank you so much. I'm actually, I actually don't know what to say because that was actually really freaky. <laughs> um, but, so you're, you've been here the whole of the Fringe and you're wrapping up next weekend, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've got uh, we do two shows a day. Uh, we've got one at half four in the afternoon, and then another one at eleven pm, our late night show. So yeah. Okay, brilliant. Elliot, uh, Luke, and Cameron, thank you so much. That's just our first taste of uh, the final week of the Edinburgh Fringe. We're live on the Royal Mile, and we'll be speaking to uh, more performers over the next three days. Megan Owen there. Now it's time for a look at the weather with Carol Kirkwood.